welcome back oh why is this up here mm -mm. pardon me early <laughs> we got two things to unmold they're not done this is just the first phase of the unmolding i might add it on to the end when i'm done and um make it just one video because it's going to be a two-part project so i just want to see how the color part came out and then we're going to do secondary part because i gotta add another layer and do some other stuff so um let me change the camera angle i'm gonna just angle it so that we're closer here and then i'll be right back we got a rolling tray and an ashtray so give me a second let me change angles and be right back all right here we are um let's start with this one first because it's smaller and easier to deal with so it's red and gold crimson and gold if you will um oh this this is clean gold in the middle and the crimson and gold kind of seeps in a little bit here but I like it it wasn't intentional it was supposed to be just crimson all the way around and gold in the middle but I'm okay with it it's kind of like a tie-dye feel ish but I like it I like it so that's the first one I'll clear the space and do this one <clears throat> excuse me um this goes over here space and yes it's lighted that's why we have this on here um let's see what we got oh mm. mm -hmm. yes 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 okay For those who um, know me, y'all might have an idea of where I'm going with this, <laughs> especially from the other one also. Yes, I'm excited. Y'all see that? The splash of color on the four corners. Um, so we got our crimson, we got our yellow, we got our blue, we got our green. Um, house colors if you will um let me flip this light here and you see that i don't like as you can see the wire through it but i kind of had to do that um because i actually no, i didn't i didn't know what i was going to do with this so that's why you see the wire because i definitely did not know where i was going to go with this tray and i just did the first layer with the wire with the light because i knew i wanted to make a lighter tray i just didn't know what theme I was gonna go with it so when I finally decided I had already put the clear down so that's why you can see it I didn't know what color I wanted to do or anything and I chose this grayish silver because it's a neutral color and um, yeah so for those who don't know because the people who know me probably are sitting there oh my god girl hurry up for those who don't know I am a proud member of the house of Gryffindor um therefore this is going to be a gryffindor ashtray and we will actually i could probably even do it here while i'm talking i'm gonna have to put another layer of resin on the inside to seal this in and this is a house tray so we have our gryffindor logo here with the red on that corner we have slytherin over here with the green we got Ravenclaw over here, and we got Hufflepuff over here. So that's why we got the respective colors and my low battery thing. Oh my goodness, I need to charge this. But yes, I'm going to finish this and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when I am finito. So there's that. I'm not doing any outro, but we're gonna cut this video here and then we will reconvene once I do that portion. All right, BRB. Hello. All right, so these are the final products for um the ashtray and the rolling tray the harry potter theme so this is how the rolling tray came out we have in the center here our hogwarts crest let me come around so y'all can see this all right and then we got the colors for each house we got gryffindor with the crimson we got hufflepuff with the yellow we got blue for ravenclaw green for slytherin all right and then of course this is the one that's lit so it lights up 
and the colors are on the edges also so when you go around the yellow red etc and this is the ashtray um Gryffindor themed ashtray and yeah um these are on the website um the link's gonna be in the bio so go on over there and get you one um it's not gonna be sold as a set because I might have said this earlier in the other portion of the video because not everybody who's a Hogwarts fan or a Harry Potter fan is a fan of Gryffindor or Anabnatius. But, you know, I'm not here to discriminate or judge. But, yes, they are done, they are complete, and I am excited. Hi. Oh, let me tell y'all. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, um, just like every other installment of everything we do here, um, thank you so much for watching this Pointless Unmolding. Make sure you're subscribed on all the social media platforms and make sure you check us out on um, all the streaming platforms and make sure you're subscribed here and everywhere else and go ahead and make you some purchases. Have a good day.